Hi, so how goes the battle with clutter? Paper overwhelming you? They're still knee deep in the paper clutter. This uh, decluttering paper under the KonMari method has been taking me a long time. I actually got really bogged down with it. It's not really fun or enjoyable, really. Except for to hear that paper shredder go. Yeah. What a wonderful sound! Ah! Shred it. And to put out a bag of with my recycling each week. So behind me I have my wonderful cupboard which has the doors. Everything's hidden. Some clutter on top. We'll talk about that later. Today we are going deep into into the paper clutter. So I have a bunch of receipts on top and I do have a little file system but um, in the filing system it's all last year's stuff and beside it is starting to be and under it is starting to be a pile of this year's stuff. So why do I still have last year's stuff? I did my taxes. Do I really need to keep any of it? Because all of my stuff from taxes is in the paperwork from the taxes. So I'm going to see if I can fill this bag full of shredded paper. If you have anxiety about people seeing your personal paperwork, shred it. Shredding makes me feel a whole lot better about the whole situation. So a lot of people say go ahead and go paperless. And if you're not comfortable with that, or if the paper, having paper helps you pay those bills on time and do things better, you do what works for you. For me, I still do a lot of the paper. I did have a situation with the landlord once upon a time that went through a separation with him and his wife and they came back and tried to tell me I owed them a pile of money. So having the receipts and then just send, you know, photocopying them and sending them to the lawyer that had contacted me kind of saved my bacon for a whole bunch of money. And I think just having that tangible in my hands makes me feel more comfortable. So if you feel more comfortable not having any paper, it is more environmentally friendly. You're always on top of your email game. You're not worried about, you know, cyber issues. Do what works for you. But if you do the paper route of things, now is a great time to find everything for your taxes, get your taxes done, and get rid of whatever you don't need. Uh, if you don't have a business, you don't need those utility bills. Keep the first one that's, if you, if you started it new and you paid a deposit or have something you know, extra fees and stuff like that, or you want to remember when you started or moved or something, or changed or hooked up, and everything in between then and now, you don't need it. If, you, if you're not using it for your business to claim as expenses, you don't need to keep them. I found a whole pile of receipts from my utilities over the years. They can go. I kept my last one and then I kept the receipt of payment and then I, when the new one comes in I make sure that it says it was paid and then I look through the new one to make sure all my transactions are accurate and then the new one can go into my wonderful little file system and the old one can be shredded. Unfortunately I have not been keeping up with this so today is the day to catch up on it. And then tomorrow I can go with the recycling out to the curb and I will feel better not having so much paper clutter even though it's hidden, in my basement it's not so hidden. And the KonMari method is to find all of your paper clutter and put it all together and only keep what you really need and what really sparks joy. Uh, so I am concentrating on um, one category of paper today. Receipts that I'm not going to need. Uh, shopping receipts banking receipts that I don't need, um, 
old insurance papers from vehicles and house insurance and tenants insurance from you know maybe last year I'll keep it but the year anything before that I don't need it so why do I still have it and this is how I have actually deleted one whole filing cabinet two drawer filing cabinet from my home and then that filing cabinet that was empty I sold it online quick easy happily out of my life and a whole bunch of paper clutter gone and a little bit more space in my life and a little less frustration and stress so let's see how much I can do today because I kind of didn't finish all that so this file is full of credit card statements from last year so I already have four months of new credit card statements coming in don't need 2018 definitely don't need 2017 if you don't run your own home business or use it for a business you don't need to keep them the shredder is full for the second time today woohoo this file is full of bank statements full i have my latest they're over there in a messy pile they belong in this file thing not all of the ones from previous years. Those receipts and loose papers. So bin number three of shredded paperwork. And you could choose to go online and have that way, but don't keep all those receipts that are in your email either. You only need the most current and maybe the first one. That's all you need. So save yourself the hassle. All those receipts behind me, I have to go through those. And bin number four shredded. Woohoo! This makes me happy. So as I'm working away, I noticed that I have a bin of paper that I had stored in the cabinet beside. I'm not really ready to deal with some of the paperwork inside of this bin. Some of it's legal stuff. Some of it's just emotional stuff. Some of it is government you know there, there's a lot of stuff that I'm just not ready for or ready to let go or just not sure of what the answers are on how to deal with it quite yet and that's okay because because this is the area that I intended to clean up and I did it and it looks a lot better and not everything is finished but I did achieve my goal of filling up this whole bag of paper. And so you'll see my leg up to my knee. Full of paper junk. And that makes me feel better. A whole bag full of shredded paper and I did have a bundle of paper that was just recyclable and didn't need to be shredded. And so that makes me feel good. And that would be why they call this a journey. The KonMari method is a life-changing magic it's a journey it is a new way of dealing with things so obviously some of my paperwork is emotional and that should not be dealt with quite yet because i'm not sure about how to deal with it i'm not sure what to do so instead of getting stuck and stopping the whole process and and that be it until i figure out that problem I just went ahead and did what I can, did what I know, and I still accomplished my goal of that whole big bag full. Although the area is still a mess, who knew I had that whole big bag of paper hiding in this shelf, and this shelf, and even some over here in this shelf. So let's get to cleaning, people. We can do this. Woo! 